Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ollie, I'm a junior doctor living and working in the NHS and working in the northeast of England. This is actually a pretty momentous piece of medical and health news that we've had through in the last couple of days as nurses across the UK have been balloted and have voted for industrial action. This comes following a ballot of more than 300,000 members of the profession, which represents the largest such vote that has happened within the college in the 106 years that it's been running as an organisation. The RCN has been campaigning for some time for a pay rise of 5% above inflation. And as you'll no doubt be aware, a pay rise of approximately 4% was offered to most NHS workforce groups this year, which for most people, and in fact, everyone involved is a real terms pay cut with inflation having reached record highs this year. In her statement, Pat Cullen from the RCN has said, patients are at great risk when there aren't enough nurses, huge numbers of staff, both experienced and newer recruits are deciding that they can't see a future in a nursing profession that is not valued or treated fairly. As we begin action, politicians in every part of the UK will be challenged to back their nursing staff and understand the strength of public support. What does this mean on the ground in terms of actual healthcare delivery? It will of course mean that you will most likely see picket lines outside of your local health services and hospitals. Please do go and speak to them, engage them, learn more about the campaign and what's been going on with their pay and working conditions. Let them know that you support them and crucially let other people, the wider public, know that you're supporting our nursing colleagues. It goes without saying that this will also mean disruption to booked and planned admissions, elective procedures such as surgery, and further delays adding to already years long waiting lists as the staff will simply not be there to process elective admissions. And as far as I'm able to understand, what this means is that A&E accident emergency nurses, as well as critical care ITU intensive care nurses, will be exempt from taking part in strike action. And interestingly, the RCN did not always support strike action. It was only in 1995 that this changed, as long as strikes were lawful and were not detrimental to the interests of patients. And this really is the crux of the issue. As we speak, the NHS is hemorrhaging nurses at an alarming rate and this is really concerning given that nurses as a group make up the largest single profession that works within the NHS. Between June 2021 and June 2022, so June just gone, we have lost approximately 40,000 nurses and perhaps unsurprisingly the single biggest demographic that have left during this time were nurses recruited from the EU. Strikes are most likely to take place before Christmas, although we are yet to hear from the RCN as to exactly when they might be. If you want a functioning, healthy health service to look after you, your family, your loved ones when they become sick, then ultimately you have to take the government to task, write to your MP, pressure those in Parliament. The reality of the situation is that patients are at risk right now from crippling understaffing. And it's crucial that NHS workers of all stripes take action now to correct their pay and working conditions, otherwise things will continue to deteriorate. And just a final closing note from me, I stand in full, complete and unwavering support for our nursing colleagues who have elected to move towards industrial and strike action. Nurses are the backbone of our health services across the UK and it is impossible to deliver good care without them. The reality is that their knowledge, their hard work and their goodwill are being exploited and have been exploited for a very long time. Nurses are highly trained, highly skilled and highly competent workers and it's time that their pay and conditions change to reflect that. Good luck, we're behind you and we'll do everything we can to support you and see you on the picket line.